Good morning friends. Hope you all are well. Today I am going to discuss about plant movement. But before starting the topic, let me clear the difference between locomotion and movement. What is locomotion? If you are entering inside the room from your balcony, then your whole body is moving from one place to another. This is an example of locomotion. On the other hand, if I am standing here and I am moving my hand, then my entire body is not moving from one place to another. This is an example of movement. Like animals and human beings, plants also perform locomotion as well as movement. But locomotion in plant is observed only in few cases like Lamidomonas. It moves from one place to another with the help of flagella. But most of the plants show movement only. Now few factors are responsible for movement of plant. What are these factors? These are unequal growth in the two regions, hormones and stimuli. Now, I will discuss their role one by one as I am proceeding. Types of plant movement. There are mainly two types of plant movements are there. Tropism and nastic movement. What do you mean by tropism? The movement of the plant part towards the external stimuli is known as tropism or tropic movement. It is also known as directional movement. Why? Because tropic movement may occur either towards the stimuli or away from it. If tropic movement is occurring towards the stimuli, then it is called positive tropic movement. If it is occurring away from the stimuli, then it is called negative tropic movement. Now, I am giving you an example of the same. If you keep a potted plant, near the side of the window. What do you observe? The shoot of the stem moves outside the window. Why? Because it gives response to stimuli that is sunlight. It is an example of positive tropic movement. On the other hand, the shoot of the plant moves away from sunlight and, gives stress and it shows negative tropic movement. Tropic movement may be of different types. One of them is phototropism. What do you mean by phototropism? Response of plant part in towards light. What do you mean? Next one is hydrotropism. Response of plant part in water. Next one is geotropism. Response of plant part towards gravity. Next one is chemotropism. Response of plant part in chemical. Next one is thigmotropism, response of plant part in skin, in touch, sorry, in touch. Now, I am discussing only phototropism. Movement of plant part in response to light is known as phototropism. Now, if the potted plant is kept near the side of the window, it shows positive phototropism. On the other hand, the root of the plant moves away from the sunlight and shows negative phototropism. Now, what is the cause of phototropism? That is mainly oxygen. What is oxygen? Oxygen is a type of plant hormone or phytohormone. It is synthesized by the meristematic tissue. Where is meristematic tissue present? It is present either in root tip or in the shoot tip. How does oxygen help in phototropism? I am discussing this with, this with the help of this diagram. In this diagram, you may observe a plant has been kept in open and sunlight is falling on it in equal measured in all region. Then oxygen that is synthesized by the tip of the shoot will be equally distributed. So, 
the cell division will take place uniformly in all the region and the blood will grow straight but in the second diagram you are observing that the saliva is coming and falling on part a this that's why oxygen that prefer share share it will move from part a to part b and cell division will take place rapidly in part b as compared to part a which causes growth more growth in plant b as compared to plant a so what will happen the plant will bend towards the sun and will show phototropism thus in this way oxygen helps in phototropism i hope you have understood the topic we will meet you again in the next videos so let me go thank you and have a nice day